I'm assuming they expect people to own a car <laughs> if you're coming to IKEA to buy furniture. But only Johnny is coming to uh, pick up a mattress on foot. So let's see what happens. Okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's been a long time, guys. And tomorrow I fly to Turkey. So this is a farewell meal. But Basha is going to handle everything while I'm gone, along with Tatiana, the lawyer. So hopefully when they come back, I'll be sleeping in an empty apartment bed. That's minorly renovated. So. So Tatiana, the best lawyer, I needed a place to keep my stuff and the new owner of the apartment uh, didn't want me to move in yet because we don't have the keys. So this is everything I own, <laughs> these four mega market bags. Can you believe this is everything I own in the world? Johnny, you normally don't provide this service. Oh. <laughs> so don't advertise okay. it. <laughs> this is for VIP customers only. Yes, it's only for you. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, this is my hand. Something pretty crazy. I didn't think I was ever going to sign it. It's called power of attorney. Basically, I'm gonna give Tatiana, my lawyer, uh, rights to access my bank account, transfer the money, and basically buy the apartment for me in my absence because uh, we're still waiting on paperwork and I'm gonna be in Turkey basically this time tomorrow and I won't have uh, time to, to come back in time to close the deal. And I figured, you know what? This is like that big boss stuff that people do. This is how you level up. You gotta trust your team. You know, you gotta do your due diligence. Trust but verify. It's in Ukrainian, but I translated it. Gonna go to the notary, and hopefully everything will be easy. So while I'm laying on a beach, sipping on a cocktail, she's gonna be closing the deal in my behalf at the bank. Right? Perfect, yeah. For the um, deposit, no, no, not deposit, the commission for the agent? Yes. And then we still oh, owe 850. Um, yes, let's calculate. So uh, there was 145,000. Yeah, times. And it was uh, 4%, right? No, 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 2%. 2%? 3%. 3%. 3%. Uh-huh. Okay, and this 3%, it's 4,000. Yeah, 50 is another 50, so then... Uh, so it's minus uh, 3,550, right? Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> I'm Asian, I'm not Asian. <laughs> For me, I always uh, double check myself. Yeah. So the uh, real estate agents, they want the commission in cash. And I just happened, well, I didn't happen. I knew they would want, like a, somebody would want cash. So I've been, I was do, like withdrawing cash. And it's so hard to get US dollars uh, in Ukraine. But here we go. So guys, I am in Turkey right now, sitting at breakfast with my friends. And my lawyer and my agent, Masha and Tatiana, are actually at the bank right now closing the deal for my apartment, the one on Bastiana in Kiev. And I'm so excited that I can sit here in paradise on vacation while they do handle all the paperwork for me. So let's, uh, let's hope everything goes well. Place look different without the furniture. Yes, it's so empty now. It looks much bigger, right? Yeah, yeah. More space. Yeah, I like it. I mean, before there was this like cabinet that came halfway, so it's hard to walk. And this room, I thought it was so small, but now I realize it's like a really big room actually, because <laughs> there was this big cabinet on this wall, mm -hmm. and it made it feel cramped. But now it feels so big. Like now it feels like a giant house. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? You are you just shy? You don't want to be there. She's just shy. So she's a super host. So came to check out my new place and yeah. give me some advice. Maybe we might collaborate on something in the future. Yes, yes, we can. Be fun. Yes. But we were talking about the ceilings. What, what, yes. what are your thoughts on these? No, it is. I think it's wonderful done. Yeah. They have the, this work. I love it. It's Today like, it was only plastic, all, yeah. and, and this is real stuck. Yes, yeah. that's, that's really, and it's living. It's yeah. literally changing. It's not always the same. It's 
I, yeah. love it. I almost told them like if they cannot uh, easily like repair this uh, the cracks, yes. just to leave it even because I think it's because they have a character, you know. Of, of course, and, and even the painting. If you see the yeah. painting, this this different colors what they use. That yeah. is really a huge work. Yeah, yes. right. yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah. And the growth of the first thing you know, the closet is this. To close it, yeah, cost. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. So actually, yeah, maybe get rid of the table and just put a round table. Like, there's no reason to have a built-in table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like stupid. Right table Move it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So maybe keep this because it's good quality, and then make this a similar color to that. That way, it breaks it up and it's less ugly. But we don't have to replace everything because this is all good. This is all good. I'm happy with with the colors. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> like 100 years ago. Yeah, yeah, it could be. <laughs> Somebody was sleeping in here. Like a worker. <laughs> okay. Uh, we will lift you and see if you fit. <laughs> So you're saying that maybe a long time ago, this was somebody's bedroom. Okay, good night. Call it Lodge. Comfortable. Good place for a uh, good place for game, uh, hide and seek. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you want to stay here, best time. Uh, oh, that's been My big moment, guys. This is my first time putting stuff in my fridge. Now I'm really living here. <laughs> cool. And I'll show you where I'm going to sleep tonight. Come follow me. What's going on in the living room? I'll show you. So this room is completely empty and there's no uh, blinds, it'll be really bright. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sleep in this room. Which at least has a desk and a chair. <laughs> Super functional. <laughs> so tonight I will be sitting here, but hopefully I can buy a cheap mattress before we start. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny! Right, so I am at IKEA, and I just bought this. <laughs> I just bought all this stuff for the house, the new bed tonight. All right, so first big bag of stuff from IKEA, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be here a lot for the next couple of months buying stuff because I have two houses to furnish, and I'll probably go to this like El Dorado place, even though it seems uh, like it won't be a cheap place to buy stuff. But I don't know where else to buy things online. There's not like an Amazon here or something. So we will see, guys. We will see. There's also Foxtrot, but I'm assuming it's just as expensive. And this place is definitely more expensive. It's funny that these like electronic stores make like a huge party. Like, for what, guys? What are we partying about? <laughs> All right, guys. So here's the pickup point for IKEA. It's in the parking lot, so I have no idea how I'm gonna grab, grab an Uber from here. I think they only expect people to... Oh my God, what am I gonna do? I'm assuming they expect people to own a car if you're coming to Ikea to buy furniture, but only Johnny is coming to uh, pick up a mattress on foot. So let's see what happens. Okay, hey, hey. <laughs> One more do. <laughs> so, it's nice to have a uh, free coffee. Ooh. Okay. Thank you so much. This must be welcome. But thank you. So actually, I need to return <laughs> two of the items. Do I give it to them? Uh, um, exchange. Exchange. Yeah. Ready? Thank you. <laughs> so I just got this, guys. And actually, you know what? I can even carry this. It's just a full-size mattress, not a queen. 
So I know I just picked this up, but I wanted the doll, the sheets instead, and also this nicer uh, comforter, because the other one was made out of like that airplane uh, pillow material, which is really terrible. So actually, this is not mine. I'm helping uh, this nice lady, <laughs> nice girl. Uh, I don't know. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so my Uber's waiting for me. <laughs> I ran back <laughs> to get my stuff. Especially about Jacko. Yeah. <sighs> At least mine should be pretty easy. <sighs> Perfect, there's a station wagon. So you can fit this mattress in there. Спасибо. Center. <laughs> Guys, I don't know why I took one hand off this because it's heavy, but this is how I'm walking. I took a bit of a break because I'm tired. <sighs> Two flights of stairs. Oh, guys, I somehow made it. Now, I'm gonna unpack it. cool guys like it's not plugged into anything just air is just coming in probably to actually cut a hole or something so some air can get in all right so I'm gonna cut a little hole in this somewhere So it's actually good that I have a mattress here now. First, I can have a place to sleep tonight, but also so I can see how a mattress would actually look in both bedrooms. So this is actually going to be my main bedroom, and this is going to be a 140, which is smaller that I'm going to get, but I can get an idea. So the idea would be the mattress would come almost all the way here, making this kind of the walkway. And I was afraid it would be cramped. So, I'm trying to be cramped going from here and around because it'd be exactly this length. My uh, measurements are actually pretty good, but it'll be wider. It's not as out of place that I was uh, afraid it might be, but I definitely don't want to have a closet here because then it would definitely be a narrow squeeze. All right, so now I'm gonna unpack a few of these things. So this is a pillow, this is a comforter. This is the bottom sheet. We'll put this on first. So I'm probably just gonna be here for a week or two, uh, but I figured I wanna be comfortable. And this, I, this I fitness sheets, man, it, like, I'm so happy I came here because it's impossible to find fitness sheets 
in Ukraine besides IKEA. They're like, really? Like, and the ones that they do have are always like jersey material. IKEA is literally the only place I've seen normal fitted sheets. I'm trying to settle and get have all the air go back in the mattress, but I figure it's pretty breathable. So should be okay. But for pillows, I bought like one of the cheapest pillows I can find. This was the skull black. I think it was 149. So guys, there you have it. This is my bed with the covers on in my own house. That's crazy. There's no frame, there's no uh, paint on the walls, but I have a bed and a uh, basically a cover under cover. This is the comfort of it, but I think it's so hot here. I don't think I'll need it. But guys, tonight's gonna be the first night I'm sleeping in my own house. It feels so crazy. I still almost don't go in it. Like it feels so weird. And it's funny because I'm actually confining myself to this guest bedroom, <laughs> which I'll probably never sleep in again once I actually move in. But here's the only one that has a uh, furniture, well, a desk, and it shouldn't get as bright as the other room, so I can sleep without window shades. So it's my first time laying down in my bed in my home. I just took the best nap of my life. But I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna have to open this up because I realize it's 13 degrees here at night, which is like 55 degrees. It's pretty cold. It's crazy that it's summer in Ukraine and it's like it's cold. I'm about to put on a shirt now too. Here's my closet, guys. Stuff I unlocked. Comforter. This one's supposed to be down to whatever degrees that is. It's so funny that there's no actual rating, but also very very cheap. <laughs> This one was 379 gravy on so I think it's $12 or something. Because I ordered online and I was like, oh, I just need like a thin blanket. It was the same material as you know, like the airline pillows they give you that feel so terrible, like the worst material you've ever felt in your life. Thank God that let me cancel that order and refund it. Guys, it's so funny. I needed internet and I decided to try to guess my neighbor's password, but <laughs> I guessed it right. Let's see how fast it is. Hopefully, it's not too bad. It's it's usable, guys. Let's check the upload speed. I'm gonna get internet installed because it's so cheap, anyways. It just it's gonna take a few days. I can't believe I guessed their freaking password. You guys, you guys are trying to try to guess what it is? Leave it in the comments. Oh my god, even the uploads are okay. Woo! I cannot believe that my stolen neighbor's Wi-Fi is faster than all the Wi-Fi I had in Sri Lanka and in Turkey. Guys, look at this upload speed. It's like five, six percent. I'm even uploading something now. It's like, it's actually working. Boom, 20 down and five and a half up through like all these brick walls. Like I basically have everything I need to live. I might just live comfortably like this for like a month and not worry too much about the renovation. I even have some random person's photo. I don't even know who these people are. Guys, I really am set up now. I have a bed. I have a working bathroom. I have a kitchen that's like old, but very functional. I have a washer. I have a fridge. I don't know where the fridge is. I have a fridge somewhere. Fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so it's our first day staying in this house. And uh, Tanya came to keep me company. We have no TV. So we've been sitting here trying to fix everything. We do have some whiskey. We have some snacks. And we have these. Oh, this but we didn't get the floor, man. I'm sure. Oh, it's a broken, yeah. This space broken. But we have this really cool book. It's called um, Mythologically Atlas. And can you fix it? No, I don't have those Really beautiful illustrations. Uh, it's in Ukrainian, so I can't read any of it. But 
It's been really interesting just to kind of go through it all. But this is actually available in like 17 languages. So I just ordered one from my niece. And uh, the other book that this guy wrote, the history book for my nephew. And something for my dad as well. So if you like, I would recommend it. History Atlas by Tiago de Moraz. <laughs> so we're watching ourselves back in Turkey playing mud. It's not bad. We don't need a living room. We have a kitchen. All right. So now I'm at El Dorado buying a bunch of random stuff. So I got a microwave. Please. Possible. Thank you. Have a good day. I bought a frying pan. I brought a kettle and yeah, we'll come back for TV. All right guys, you never believe it, but this is a giant microwave on the back. I have a frying pan up there, a water filter, and a kettle up here. But the nice thing is, this is the mall, Gulliver. It has like an electronics store, uh, El Dorado, and I live right there. So I'm basically like, maybe a block and a half, two blocks away. I never thought I could furnish a house, but I walk across the street to the mall. So here we go, we're home. This bag I bought from New York for 250 grivna is amazing. It's like this giant duffel. That's like a really nice capsule to have It swallowed up this super heavy microwave. I had no idea microwaves were that heavy. I got my... This one was 200 grivna, which is about $9. It was super cheap. This was the cheapest microwave they had, it was 50 bucks. This is the cheapest frying pan they had. It was 169 grivna, which is like seven dollars maybe. And I bought a water filter. I don't. I think the water in Kiev is drinkable, but mainly it's gonna be for like coffee, things like that. Frying pan, easy. It's like thinner than the other one, but just don't burn it. It should be okay. You know, this is the first time in my life I think about my microwave. Like almost the same price. I could got the one with the buttons, but I hate those things. Like they're unnecessarily complicated. Whoever does anything else but like press, like plus minute, plus minute, plus minute. I'd rather just be able to turn the knob. It's so much easier. I'm gonna put this here. So I realized that this little storage shelf where I'm keeping like jam and uh, fish is probably where the microwave goes. My grave told that. Good thing that. Oh my god, it's not even burnt now, too. Ooh. Let's take that out. Oh, oh my god, guys. Don't microwave uh, this crap. Alright, just the plastic mounted. Lucky nothing caught on fire. I just we know it works. Oh my god, that would have been terrible. All right, let's try with a cup of water. Hopefully that takes away the smell. All right, all the way for that. There we go. Johnny, I have a question. Yeah. Have a seat. Why did you buy a house in Ukraine? We have never answered that. Yeah, because I don't know the answer either. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like uh, 
it's time to buy something somewhere. Uh huh. And in the U.S., honestly, I would be, I would have one place smaller than this uh -huh. outside of the center. Yeah. And then I would have no more money. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's the truth. Yes, that's the truth. Or I would have to have a lot of debt, like uh -huh. mortgage, like most Americans have. And then you would have to pay. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. So uh -huh. I figure I'm happy here. I like it here, and I can be debt free uh -huh. and own the place in cash. And what up? Smart guy. Yeah. What is the benefits of having a house here? I don't know yet. <laughs> right <laughs> now, <laughs> <it's headaches. laughs> but at least I have a place to live tonight. So. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Second time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought you could ask me what all the stuff is. What is those things? Yeah. Uh, Lennon knows. <laughs> what is those things? There are some friends of Joni. They also need Ah, I remember. Stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, uh, that's the benefit of having a house is my friends can leave their stuff here when they're traveling. <laughs> okay, Turkish. And we left ours as well. Yeah. All my audience who is watching this channel, yeah, when yeah. you come, you can leave stuff here. I have a room, but I space. <laughs> Just if you can reach the journey. <laughs> okay, so should we go? Yeah, let's go. Let's go.